G'day guys, Mac here with The Outer Circle, and today um, I want to quickly touch on how I think people should actually be introduced to the hobby now. Times have changed, um, and the way we used to do it with these large dark vengeance type forces, I think needs to, needs to be mixed up a little, because for a few reasons, I don't think that that's the best approach anymore to getting people into the game. I will preface this by saying I am drinking beer, because I've just got home from a day at work. And it's 40-something degrees Celsius here. Uh, that's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit um, for those of you in the old country. So it's bloody hot and I deserve the beer. Now, where do you start with 40k and introducing people to it? Well, Dark Vengeance is a great idea. The starter set has been something that's been around pretty much since the beginning um, of 40k. You know, I remember starter sets back when... Um, they came with like paper cut out dreadnoughts and things like that in them. So they've been around. But the stage where we're at in starter sets is that they're a quite a big money investment. They're a good investment. I mean, the models are cheap compared to the rest of the range, realistically. But the main reason you would always get a starter set was it came with a set of rules. And it came with two different factions so that you and your mate could play against one another. Seems reasonable enough. The problem with that is, I know for me personally, and a lot of other people that I knew, the starter set never held any value to them, because frankly, it wasn't the factions they collected, they didn't want to waste money on models they didn't deem necessary at that cost. If you're 13, 14 years old, just taking your first steps into the hobby, $165 is a lot of money at that age. I mean, it was for me, and that was back when starter sets were like 100 bucks. so... Um, Value for money wise, I think it's fine. I just think what we need to do is change it up a little. I think that the small rule book you get in a starter set should be combined with um, tape measure and a dice. A set of dice, I should say. <laughs> More than one would help. So a set of dice, tape measure, and I think you also need to include one of the Let's Start Collecting bundles. With the Let's Start Collecting Bundles, I would suggest changing them up a little as well. I'd make it so that they contained pretty much what they do now, but I would try and get it as close to balanced in points as possible to one another. And I would include full rules in the Start Collecting box. And that would be a formation. And I think that's how a formation should work. Right? You have rules for the faction, and it's only for the specific units in the box. The idea behind this is that it saves kids getting into the hobby money, right? Because they're not going to go out and spend all that money on a codex straight away, right? They're going to get the rules, they're going to get, you know, their power armor, and it's going to have stock stats for a captain, stock stats for a tactical squad with the weapons they come supplied with, you know, and a dreadnought, for example. Just using this Space Marine example right here in the middle of the screen. And... That's going to be for them their core army. It's going to have very basic rules, and that's going to be their introduction to the hobby. That formation is going to prepare them for later on when they move into codexes. It's going to help them learn about army building, right? Because these days, it's not something that people are really taught. You don't go into a games workshop anymore, or a lot of people don't, and have the staff sit down with you and work out how to make an army list. Those days are gone because, frankly, the staff don't always have the time for it anymore, especially when they've got to get those precious sales. In the old days, there would be three, sometimes even four staff um, on a veterans night, on like a Wednesday night, a Thursday night, Friday night. Store would be full of staff. And then they'd sit down, they'd be running painting classes in one area, they'd be running um, how to get the most out of units on a table in another area. They'd be doing all this really good stuff for the hobby, which has sort of died off now, where because it's only one person working in the store, they can only do one thing at a time, right? So introduce a formation that comes in each box allow people to come in they start collecting they need to pick a start collecting bundle comes with a little 40k rule book small set of dice and the basic templates and tape measure they can then go on and play other people who've bought different factions right because you can all go out and get the army you want and you can pit them up against one another and if the bug you know if it bites if the hobby bug bites you then they'll go, okay, I want to build a bigger army. Where do I go from here? 
and that's when you start supplying them with the codex and more models right and that's when you start giving them the option of varying their army list up you know changing things up taking different units and to me that is the best way to bring new blood into this hobby from a modeling perspective right from a getting them into the models side of things is it maybe the best way to tell them that this is the best hobby ever no of course not because that's up to them to decide what they actually are into you can't convince someone they like something they don't otherwise all of us would have girlfriends who play 40k right <laughs> so that's how you do it it's nice it's simple it's easy anyway i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below um as always, we don't have a Patreon, we don't have a fucking monetizing on this channel, um, at least that I've seen. I, I regularly log on through my phone and um, iPad, and I don't get ads, thankfully. So, this is all free content, guys. We do it because we love the hobby on this channel, and we will talk a lot of shit, but, you know, we only want to see it get better. So, give us your thoughts below. Um, and if you do like what we have to say, subscribe, look us up on Facebook, send us 50 bucks in the mail, all that other piss that other people say on YouTube. Thanks all for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.